I said it's twice as sweet as sugar, twice as great as salt. But if you get hooked, baby, oh, it's nobody else's fault. So just do it. Subscribe. Rock to the Steel Wade Show. My name's Jake Wade. I hope you are all having a great, great week. Getting ready for this weekend coming up. Man, tonight I want to talk to you about Brian Thomas Jr. And is he going to be the Steelers' first round draft pick? I think it was Monday, Monday or Tuesday. Um, I was driving home and I like to listen to this one cat about uh, E Valley. He talks about different mock drafts. And one that had come up, which I was pretty positive that it was NBC. Um, NBC had picked uh brian thomas jr as the steelers pick before that i was thinking you know i've been changing my mindset and i don't know if you have been too about how we go into this draft when i think about a first round draft pick if a team is going to pick a non-skilled draft pick in the first round you are a building team this discussion probably excludes quarterback but if you are going to pick a skilled position, you are probably looking to attack within a year or two. Obviously, going with best, uh, you know, player available. As I came home, my favorite podcast is Steelers Now, and sure as shit, uh, they mentioned that Mel Kiper also had picked Brian Thomas as uh, the Steelers pick, which, you know. That's a whole new discussion with him. But um, I'm having a great night tonight. Um, I already did this podcast yesterday, and uh, it was, I didn't put it out, and uh, I'm very excited about this pick. Brian Thomas, to me, if you want to go back 10 years and think about a better, like a 2.0 Martavius Bryant. You old hoods out there. Um, when you see this cat come off the line, it is, it's, it, it's beautiful. Like, I remember watching him. I remember watching LSU when they beat my Arkansas Razorbacks early last. Uh, you know, we scored too much to them, way too much. And uh, it was just when he comes off the line. Now, the stuff that I was, when I wanted to do this podcast, I watched the tape from, tape, I'm so professional, <laughs> but uh, from the Alabama and the Georgia games, because I figured that's, I wanted to see him against Kool-Aid and shit like that. But um, uh, I remember when we lost, you know, to them, when he would come off of his, um, it's almost like a ghost, like his feet are just so smooth, like that, <laughs> It's very smooth. Um, and I, I'm going to start this thing with saying that I could 100% back this play. You know, we have a whole new wide receivers, coaches. You know, we have assistants. Steelers have never ventured into this. We have a brand new offensive coordinator. What a reward. We already went with offensive line in the first round last year. Don't, you know. Um, we need a star. And Brian Thomas. Now, I don't know how you feel about George Pickens. There are a lot of fans that uh, believe that George Pickens is ready to go uh, into the number one position. Like, you know, one wide receiver one as far as like the X. I don't know a lot about football. But as far as what I'm thinking about the X, it's the majority of the targets. You know, the other why uh, is uh, more of a distraction, deep threat, you know. So if you are confident because if you're confident in George Pickens becoming that right now in his third year, then this would be amazing to have Brian Thomas. He is not ready to be that X receiver right now. He does have some flaws, you know. He wasn't asked to do a lot of different things in LSU as far as like he doesn't have there's just not a lot of 
he doesn't have a lot of routes, trees, you know, it's, uh, uh, he just didn't have to do a lot of that stuff. He's so good. You know, the bad side about it is that could this be a situation wherein this receiver is so good, you know, two reasons you have Malik neighbor next to you, you know, so who is uh, an elite prospect right now. The only reason why he isn't number one is because of that other guy, Marvin Harris Jr. You might have heard of him. But Neighbors is amazing. So the defense that played against LSU, obviously. So now we, are, we go back to this whole, you remember the Juju years? Remember that one year? You know, when uh, it was his second year? Where it was just, uh, or it was his first year was nice. Second year, I believe that's how it went. I love those years, you know. Um, so if you're confident in George Pickens being the ex, this guy, though I could completely get behind watching this guy leave the line of scrimmage for four more years. It's beautiful. I'm going to put a couple descriptions down in the description. Links, I guess you'd say. Before I forget, check the descriptions on my on my podcast. This today I listened to two great podcasts. One was the uh, Pump Your Breaks podcast. They had a guest. I should have his name. Very good guest. A uh, uh, podcaster. You know, he's a, a personality through Chicago Bears. And uh, really cool stuff on Justin Fields. Really neat insight. Shannon White's over there. Nate uh, Tate and, uh, uh, you know, G, Big G, Nostagemus, you know, go Michigan, Big G. And, uh, but that was a great podcast. And also this afternoon, the sick podcast, I didn't write down, darn it, but they had this interview with the running back that ran with, you know, Parker and Jerome Bettis and in the, I can't believe I can't can put his name down. You'll, you'll know who I'm talking about. It's a great interview and it, it'll make you feel so good about being part of Steeler Nation and this team. But back to Brian Thomas Jr. <coughs> um. One of the things I remember in the beginning, uh, it seems like somewhere in my memory that uh, people were like, uh, like in the beginning of last year, I guess probably I got this when they played Arkansas and beat them. They said that he was not as good in the contested catch mode, you know. But last year is when he really turned it on. He ended up actually, I'm going to have to read this one. 53.8% of all contested catches, which was in the top 10 of last year. Steeler Nation, you love your gritty football. You love when George gets up there. You know, this is another one. Top 10 in contested catches last year. Above.